While you're at HUDKing.com, click on the T to follow us on Twitter, click on the F to follow us on Facebook, or put a street name or zip code in the search bar to see other HUD homes in your area. If you're watching this on YouTube, click the subscribe button to be notified of new uploaded videos. We are here at 6927 Silver Shadow. That's 6927 Silver Shadow over in the Brookwood subdivision. This is a three bedroom, two bath home, approximately 1,706 square feet. Built in 1976. Sits on a nice sized lot. The home is in a cul-de-sac, so the lot is about 10,000 square feet. And the exterior is a combination of brick and wood siding. Has a nice extended kind of a parking area here. As you can see, they extended it over to the side. If you have a large vehicle, you could pull it back through this gate. Let's take a look at the backyard and then we'll look at the inside. A view out into the back. It does have a very nice covered patio here. And as I mentioned, since it is on a cul-de-sac, you do have a little bit of a larger yacht, uh, larger lot. No yacht here. We'll need some landscaping though. Now they did an interesting thing. It appears that they added an addition onto the side of the home. So I will show you that once we get to the inside. And exterior wise, the home will need a little bit of siding and maybe a fresh coat of paint. Let's take a look at the inside. Well, as we step in, you can definitely tell it's going to need some flooring and a fresh coat of paint. The very first room that we are in is your living room. Has a vaulted ceiling. Nice space, definitely, definitely some good square footage. As we continue through straight ahead, we have your dining room here. Now the dining room opens up into your kitchen. Decent sized kitchen. You probably want to go ahead and paint the cabinets. Maybe consider redoing a countertop here and doing some flooring. Now the garage has been partially converted. As we come over to where the garage normally is, they converted it into this uh, enclosed laundry room here. They put a nice, uh, nice countertop there, nice storage. And then directly ahead we have the remainder of the garage. Now there might barely be enough room to fit a couple of cars in there. It's a little bit shallow because of this wall that they constructed. So I'm not sure what, how you want to address that. Now another interesting thing is we have this room here. I'm going to call this a study. Um, it has the nice uh, windows giving you lots of natural lighting. And the only way to, um, to get into that room is either right here through this dining room or if we come over through this hallway over here, you can actually even get into that room right through this hallway. But let me orient you with where we are. So when we come into the living room, if we make a left, we come up to the front of the home, we have bedroom number one. Bedroom number one is going to need a fresh coat of paint and it's going to need some flooring as well as some closet doors. Right next to that we have bathroom number one. Bathroom number one is a shower and tub combo. Needs a little bit of grout work around the tub. It has a single vanity and it's going to need some flooring. Now if we come down the hallway and here is that office as I mentioned. We have another kind of a strange room here. This could be considered a bedroom but the only way to get to this addition on the opposite side is to come through this room. So this could really be like a second living area or a little study. We come over here, we have bedroom number two. Bedroom number two has the sliding glass doors that take you out to the backyard and it's going to need a fresh coat of paint and flooring. And then bedroom number three or your master bedroom will definitely need some flooring and a coat of paint. And then your master bathroom right here is going to be a shower and tub combo. It does have a little bit damaged uh, uh, tile you can see right there at the exchange. Uh, and it's going to need a fresh coat of paint in there and some flooring. So it's an interesting house, kind of a unique setup. It's $18,000 underneath the county appraisal. Um, but as you can probably guess why, because it is going to need some work. Let me give you a summary. There it is guys, 6927 Silver Shadow. That's 6927 Silver Shadow. An interesting three bedroom, two bath home. It's gonna need some work, in the way of flooring, painting, a little bit of sheetrock work, but it could be really nice. As a matter of fact, as I said, it's $18,000 underneath the county appraisal. The home is listed right now for only $80,000. So if you're interested in it and you don't have a realtor, I'd love to earn your business. You can reach me at 210-706-0616. My name is Jonathan, I'm the Hud King, and I wanna help you find your castle.